Kopangan and Kusamui are two neighboring islands with a good access by speedboats and ferries, which are providing convenient transportation if you need to go to either of them for a day or two. Speedboats are faster and trip takes only half an hour to reach the island. As well as the piers are more conveniently located closer to tourist places. However, I usually use slow Raja ferry with a traveling time of an hour and a half because it allows to take motorbike or car on the board with you. One way ticket price including motorbike is 200 baht. Just next to Ripanoi Pier there is a beautiful hidden place with lily pond and great view over the hills. Are you late for the last Raja ferry? It's a great option to stay away from the hustle and bustle of the main road. The links to Google map of the places shown in the video you can find in the description below. My trip around the island I started counterclockwise, heading towards the south to a traditional fishing village Don Crude. It's a peaceful shallow water bay and a hub to charter a long tail boat out to the neighboring islands Kotayan and Komatsum, which is known as a pig island, where you can swim and play with pigs on the beach. And of course, there are many cafes and restaurants overlooking the bay with the great food and amazing views. Google Maps marks this place as a fruit hotel. Nothing is really inside, the fruit sculptures are hollow, but it's beautifully designed and decorated area. And this one is really one of my favorite places in Koh Samui, Magic Buddha Garden. I've already shown it in my previous videos, but I love to come to visit it again. It is a relatively new place built up in 1976 by a Samui fruit farmer and it's hidden up high in the hills, offering majestic views and unusual collection of statues in the lush jungle surrounds. The garden creator, Kun Nim Tong Suk, started to build it at the age of 77 and continued until his death at the age of 91. The statues depict a number of animals, deities and humans in various poses, including one of Kun Nim himself, in a relaxed position, sitting on a rock. The garden has a waterfall and stream flowing through, all shaded by the thick foliage. The site features many statues of Buddha and other figures of Thai Buddhism and a pair of statues of parents of the founder, as well as a statue representing him holding the hand of his father.
When driving along the ring road just south of Lamai, you can see a big red hat and then a Jean statue. What is it? In 2014, prominent Icelander of Chinese descent organized the construction of a massive image of Guan Yu, a Chinese general who lived about 2000 years ago and is now revered as a god of war. The actual shrine room is situated behind this statue, punctuated by all sorts of Chinese lanterns and banners. Framed portraits of influential Chinese Thai residents of Samui are hung from the side wall. In Tahin Ye, known as a grandpa and grandma rocks, are the highlights of some fascinated rock formation at the southern end of Lamai Beach in Kosamui. Hintai Hinyai legend is a tale of tragedy of the family of old couple living with their son who had come of age they felt it was time he got married. One day they decided to sail to ask for the hand of the daughter of a man living in the different province. During their sea journey, the boat was seized by a storm. They died at the sea, turning into rocks, as a proof that they would be bright parents of their true intentions. This temple is my favorite on Kosamui. It's more known as the Red Temple and it's a beautiful sacred site on the island. The terracotta colored temple impresses with this beautiful decoration inside and out and has a special atmosphere. Road to Chabang Beach, where I'm going to stay for a night. Don't forget to subscribe, click like and notification bell button for joining me on more travel adventures.